James Ramco here. Today I'm going to share with you a simple technique you can use to take advantage of the great work you've already done to generate more future sales. So the technique that is really handy to take advantage of is to generate case studies. So one thing I do in my own community is I have a success thread and when people are getting results, they usually post to that. And often when they post to that, I'll invite them to come along and share their story on my podcast. And I've had some great podcasts with members of my own community at Superfast Business. We've had James Eager, we've had Steve Mastriani, we've had all sorts of other people from pastors through to photography artists and they've shared their success stories. Now, one thing is they don't even have to be huge success stories. They just have to be a success story that someone who would be a perfect fit for your product or service could look at and think, yes, that's a similar transformation that I'm after. And the framework that you can use for case studies is you wanna find out where people were at before they were using your product or service. You then want to document what happened, what changed, and what sort of outcome did they get, and how different is the outcome to the start, so you create that contrast. And then you could create some prescription or useful information that someone going through the case study could actually replicate. And of course, the punchline is the big differentiator is usually your product or service. So it's very compelling. It's a high level of proof. It's relatively easy for you to create. If you ever do a survey to your audience, you can get the responses about sort of the impact that your program had. You can then cherry pick from the very best ones and interview them. You can even record them and take screenshots. A friend of mine, Brian McCarthy, does this as his whole job actually, is interviewing and then compiling the best words into a compelling page. And then you can put these in various places. You can have them on your sales page, you can have them on your checkout, you can have individual blog posts, you can do podcast episodes, you can have little videos that you publish on social media. You could even just take a little text snippet. I do that on silvercircle.com. I usually extract the one or two best paragraphs that are prescriptive of what that person actually got help with and I put it there and people come along and they see this and they think well that's the sort of result I'd like I'm going to go forward this is like the lowest pressure selling ever acquired because it's an actual customer who got an actual result no theory no fluff so use case studies in your marketing I'm about to put together some more case studies to promote super fast business live in the past, we had little mini documentaries where we followed three people who came to the event and we published those. And I think they were really compelling and helped people make a decision to buy a ticket to come to Superfast Business Live. So that's how I'm using it in my marketing. I hope you have some success with case study marketing and uh, look forward to hearing your comments or feedback uh, wherever you see this video. If you enjoy this too, be sure to subscribe to superfastbusiness.com. We send out a weekly summary of all the training that we publish in a week. I'm James Shremko, speak to you soon.